All right, here we go. Insulation foam. Uh, this is Owens Coring half inch. It's whatever. This is just uh, cardboard, uh, uh, like cardstock cardboard. Uh, yeah, not corrugator. Uh, this is actually from uh, circuit board, circuit boards, uh, packing material. Anyway, the old uh, wireless hot glue gun that uh, my girlfriend got me. And yeah, it's pretty cool. I like the wireless, it's pretty badass. And uh, the glue came with kind of sucks, but that's okay. We're gonna use it all up here real soon. It doesn't take real long. I used too much chocolate. So, da -da 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 -da. and some weight to just make sure it cools uh, flat. And it doesn't take very long to cool. Because uh, temperature control on the Okul is pretty good. And this is a set of tile things that this same lady gave me. And I already used them on one of my other one sets, so I wanted to do a thing with them where they were uh, similar. But I didn't want them to be the same shape, so I made a square and a little walkway to be a, I don't know, something. An outdoor space where you could picnic or whatever. Or, you know, I don't know, D&D stuff. This is, uh, yeah, my uh, whatever it is, uh, hot wire cutter. I don't have a table. I don't have a hot wire table. Approximately, I got this uh, launcher thing, which I think is more, fits my style more. Uh, a table might be nice, but this this is more my kind of thing, where you just kind of see what you're doing as you're doing it. Uh, I don't plan things much. So anyway, da -da 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 -da. and this is just the bevel the edges and kind of whatever it. And uh, took off the excess glue and play with it and fiddle because that's what you do. And I'm done with this thing, so we'll take it all apart, put it up, and I could have skipped all this at the phone, but I didn't because I'm a moron. So anyway, putting up the thing and it's up. And this is, uh, of course, uh, Vallejo primer. Uh, airbrush primer is what I use. Uh, the Israeli sand gray is this color. It's the color I like. It's the one I use. And of course, you can brush uh, airbrush primer on with a brush instead of an airbrush. Uh, and this just makes the glue hold the paint. It primes it. That's all. It's a really good primer. That's the whole point. And this is just a blue uh, craft paint. Uh, apple barrel blue uh, craft paint. Uh, obviously, it's some pretty bright blue, but we're going for frozen land underneath the uh, snow, so it works. And just and it's got chunks in it. This older paint, it's got some chunks in it and some stuff. It would not work well for uh, much else, but for this kind of thing, it's all right. It would not apply smoothly over uh, most surfaces. Let's say. Anyway, yeah, da 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 da. Blue paint, blue paint. And as I've done these, I've uh, cut back on my steps. So they're all a little, yeah, they're a little different each one on this set of these. But it's okay. It's whatever. That's how it turns out. They all look okay. Like they all fit together enough to be a set. And I'm just playing around with the excess paint, just kind of schmooping it, flipping it around. Billy playing, floppy flop. And when that dry, that's magic dry time. And here is uh, some uh, granite gray in a, a makeup brush. And it's time to dry brush this and dot. I don't do a very good job, and that's the way it is. But thank, thankfully, it's kind of forgiving because it's been covered in snow. And I did not uh, like fill in the cracks between the flagstones, you know, the tiles or anything like that. Cause it's like, I don't know, I just didn't. I was like, eh, it'll be all right. And it is all right. This is just like a place where uh, the guy that winds up with this could use it as a place to put a building or a house or an altar or a whatever. This is just a visual aid, I guess. And whatever, next time. Okay, so this is me 
setting out some whatever, uh, some glue, just PVA, and just spreading it because I'm gonna use some uh, static grass, the old magic static grass wand. I have a video on making that uh, for bling blah blah. You can find it. And this is white static grass, which is, yeah, I just need to use it up. I have no real use for it. I have to find a use for it. So I found this use. A lot of it for some reason. I ordered a multi pack and you're supposed to be able to pick your colors. And I did not pick white. I got a lot of white. Uh, you know, wishes that way kind of thing. Which is fine. It wasn't like I paid much for it. But I don't have a, I, I'm not, I can't throw things away sometimes. And I'm kind of a pack rat. So, uh, yeah. I have no, I, I've yet to find much of a use for white static grass other than on winter stuff. So put the static grass back on the thing. Yeah, the old uh, dust buster-y type widget digger. And yep, we got some wires. This is aluminum wire, I think. I'm pretty sure it's aluminum. That's uh, crap wire. So I'm sure it got a Walmart or something. Uh, it's a thicker gauge, but it's aluminum or aluminized, so it's whatever. This is a hardier steel wire. Uh, so we're making a tree, and I cut them all about the same length because it's not a, a healthy tree by any means. It's stuck in eternal winter, of course. And doing the old wire wrap thing. I'm just kind of eyeballing it and going as I go, and bending where I can bend, and just kind of. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I need to do with some trees where I like to actually flock them and stuff. This is like a dead tree with leaves around it and nothing on it because it's been stuck in magic winter for so long or whatever. That's my head can. I don't know. Uh, I don't have a story behind this. I got a question. I got a request to do winter senior. Uh, I got winter and cakes. I haven't done cakes yet. Um, that's my next whatever project. I have an owie. I got stabbed by the war. Uh, hot glue. I'll uh, turn the hot glue gun down and just schmoop it on there. Uh, let it mold around. Do your thing. Uh, set up, oh, some sort of clampies. Uh, they're not Kelly's. They might be. They're not. They are uh, random whatever clampies that I got in a kit, so they don't really have a specific designation but they're uh, whatever anyway uh, this is of course uh, more of that Vallejo primer because it sticks sort of kind of to the hot glue not the best this hot glue is the glue that came with the gun it is kind of uh, more for woodworking I think than uh, anything else so it's kind of different kind of property than most of my other hot glues uh, and this is of course no name, no brand hot glue, so it's whatever. But so, you know that, and then just go with a brown over the whole thing. A dark brown. This is uh, probably like burnt sienna, I think, for sure. And uh, it's not super dark, but it's a darker brown. And then we go over it with a dark brown. Oh, here. We'll, we'll try and keep facing it. Dark brown. This is a uh, dark brown. And uh, it's a thing. Anyway. So, dark brown. Dark brown, dark brown. And just kind of catch all the spots I can and make sure I try and cover the other. This is uh, uh, melted chocolate, I think. I don't know. I'm just going to do a quick a slappy dry brushy kind of thing and here's khaki which is my everything wood color it's my final wood color for uh, pretty much everything and it's done and we jam it in a spot where i want it and push it down so it changes the, it makes dents in the thing and glow it down with the hot glue get out some this is a uh, paste I had left over from one of the uh, other builds and it just, it's all dried out and didn't really work and it water and, and it's like yeah no I'm not I don't have the patience for that not right now so I add water to it and set it aside just don't use it 
and uh, glue everywhere. Glue, glue, glue. And I used the, this brush I used to spread this was uh, plastic. So it kind of didn't really work, as you can tell. It kind of like left all these patterns and stuff in it. But oh well, here we go. So this is just putting down uh, my snow, which is made from uh, ground up foam. Uh, it's uh, forest foam, but not the green stuff, of course. My snow is called crafter's foam and it runs in the blender and whatever. And it makes this kind of nice snow texture where you can really glue the crap out of it so it doesn't fall off, flake off or anything like that. So this is just adding some glue to some spots to make sure you're coverage and kind of, you know, do its thing. And it does kind of reactivate, of course, underneath it and you just kind of, kind of wimple it around. Kind of stipple it a little bit, do this and do that. Da -da 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 -da. I need to refill my glue. And there's my gallon of glue that's mostly, uh, I think it's like a third, up down to a third of it, which is cool because I've had it for years. Don't buy a gallon of Elmer's glue <laughs> unless you really, really think you're going to use it because you won't. Like, unless you have uh, some sort of way of knowing that you will use it, you won't. It's going to last forever. The upside is, is Elmer's glue doesn't. Uh, tend to rot so there's that so the problem with those uh, big uh, jugs of like craft paint or whatever is they go stinky pretty quick if you don't use them fast they get pretty smelly especially yellows blues are bad too but yellows are already smell when they're new and they start to rot really bad and then you have rotted gross paint and so you just waste it so buy a smaller uh things of paint so this is just a uh, snow over it and here we're going to do a little cleanup because I for some reason I always film my cleanup and then never take it out when I do my editing because I'm a moron. Anyway, ch -ch 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 -ch. oh yeah, okay, I'll uh, uh, turn it over because I want to do the edge because I left this raised up so it didn't have a thing so I could do this because uh, that's one of those things that just is a pet peeve of mine is like the gap underneath scenery, underneath terrain on the edges, you're gonna have a gap. Uh, so if you engineer your gap, like I did, I hope this works, and it works, it works. I, I, later on it works. Uh, you can, especially for snow, uh, I can put snow on the, on the edge of it and it'll be okay. It won't look like a, a whatever, a harsh uh, edge or whatever. This is just covering up some of the spots that didn't have quite the uh, level of uh, snow on them I wanted and adding some stuff and knocking off the excess snow again and doing the thing that you do and cleaning it up a little bit because it's, it's, it's super exciting to watch me brush off my table all right use the old texture palette and a dry brush and that's just white paint white crap apple barrel white like that's the name of the color white and we're just dry brushing over the snow trying to avoid the uh uh, static grass, which doesn't even matter. You can't even see it. It doesn't even show up. Like even in real life, it's barely different. Visible, very, 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 barely visibly different. But it's whatever. And I just keep all my snow together because, like, gets dirty, gets dirty. This is a new hole punch thing I got at the junk shop. Uh, it's a thrift store. It's not really called the junk shop. It's what I call it. And uh, they're like uh, different kind of leaves. Than I'm used to, and it just does the one size, so I just kind of stick them here and there, and did three colors: a dark brown, a medium brown, and then this orange. And it doesn't. It, it's whatever. They, they they're okay. It, it turns out okay. It's nothing to do with. I should have uh, done a better job of uh, coloring them or something. But I didn't want. I just wanted some sparse leafy stuff here and there. I didn't want like huge piles. So I put them down with glue on one side and glue on the other side. Then spray them with a uh, alcohol glue mix real quick. Let them sit for a minute and get out the uh, snow stuff again and let it dry and flip it off. And here it is, it's been a Rooney. It is a finished. This is what it looks like. And see the leaves are colors are a little not great. I could have gone over them with a wash or ink to make them a little different. So they're a little whatever. I don't know. It's but it's fine. You know, I didn't do the best. But hey, I think it's fine. It works. 
And this is just a random, I don't know. You could put anything on it. Put a building, put a house, you could put a wagon. It's just whatever. Anyway, Bulls Bazaar, Bazaar, Broken Bobbles. Thanks for coming. Like, share, subscribe. Do the thing, thing to do. See ya. Bye. See ya.